Okay, so testing one, two, three. How is it looking there? What's up, guys? Mike again. Glad to have you guys back. Today, we're checking out the Logitech 4K Pro webcam right here. So, this year and a half has gotten a lot of people trying to look for ways to upgrade their workspace setup. And if you're planning to stream in 4K or record 4K clips to use in your content later, then having a 4K webcam like this would be useful. So, I've partnered up with Logitech to show you guys the features and the footage that I got from recording on this webcam. And hopefully, it'll help you decide whether or not the Logitech 4K Pro webcam will help make your workflow easier for whatever it is that you do. So right out of the box, you're gonna get the 4K Pro webcam. And on the front, you're gonna see the dual integrated omnidirectional mics along with the sensors. Additionally, there's an attachable lens cover to ensure your privacy, a super long USB-A to USB-C cable, and finally, a carrying pouch to put everything in if you're taking the webcam along with you. As for mounting the webcam, there's quite a few hinges on the adjustable clip, so it makes it super easy to place it on your laptop or monitor and get the best viewing angle. And if you want to, you can also take off the clip, which reveals the quarter inch thread which you can then attach to your own tripod or whatever that works best for your setup. So as you can see, my monitor is quite thick, but the clip makes it very simple to mount it on securely. So for my setup, I love how I can just plop it right on my monitor light so it doesn't take up any more space and I can still adjust it to an angle that makes my face look good. So after downloading the software, there's a whole bunch of adjustments that you can do to your webcam. So in the Logitune software, you have the ability to zoom into your face. <laughs> that's really, that's really, uh, that's a lot of zoom. I'm not sure if you want to do that, but you can control your field of view. As you can see, we're now at 90 degrees and we can go 78 if we want to block off more stuff from the background or even to 65, which really focuses on your face and nothing else. So if you want to show off your background or shows people like what you have here, like, ooh, check out my uh, poster over here. Check it out. You can zoom in a lot into it over here without me having to move at all. So it really lets you control what you want to show your audience when you're streaming or recording. Also, it does have an autofocus feature like this over here. Um, if you turn it off, there's manual adjustment. So I'm pretty sure people are gonna put it in autofocus mode the whole time so that when you want to focus on stuff like this, it will autofocus and then it focuses back on my face like I don't have to touch anything. And if we go into color adjustments, there's a lot of different settings that you can have. Uh, but again, I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna only use um, original because that's what most people would use. And if you want to go deeper into the adjustments, we can go into this tab. So the auto exposure feature is actually pretty useful. It uses the Right Light 3 and HDR technology. So for example, my lighting is pretty good right now, but if I turn it off like this, it still looks pretty good because this is what it would look like on my camera right here and if I look back on here, it's not exactly the same but the lighting is still pretty good. I don't have to like have amazing lighting for my webcam to look good. And if we turn it back on, it will auto adjust everything so that my face will still look good. The other thing is like uh, auto white balance. You can customize it yourself to find the perfect one. But again, I think for myself, I'll just leave it on auto. There's sharpness and saturation and all that uh, that you can tweak yourself. It's a lot that you can do in here, but uh, I'm not really good at doing this. So I'm just gonna reset it back to default. So I actually like what it looks like out of the box without much tankering. So it's pretty good. Okay, so here I got a really weird setup where this monitor is actually coming from this webcam over here on the laptop and this screen is showing this webcam. I'm like FaceTiming myself to demonstrate the differences between the two webcams. And if we turn off the lights, let's see what the lighting in the webcams will do. So my face is a lot brighter on this camera and this one is like really grainy, whereas this one is not. And uh, yeah, the lighting on the face is still nice. Let me put it more like this. The colors are completely different. And by the way, I'm using FaceTime right now. This is like so trippy. There's like three things going on. So turn the light back on. This is the difference. And moving on to the audio quality. So this is what it sounds like on my camera, testing one, two, three. And now switching over to the webcam mics, testing one, two, three. This is the webcam mic. Also, the mics in the webcam has a noise canceling feature so that it will focus on my voice versus the background voice. So we're gonna do a little sound test here with some background music. So testing one, two, three. This is the music right now. And I think it's still capturing it pretty well since I'm right in front of it. But if I throw my phone over to the side, like this, testing one, two, three, how is it? Is it still focused on my voice and kind of blocking that out? So yeah, let me know in the comments below.
So now we're gonna use the Logitech capture recording software. So this is where you can adjust the resolution, frame rates, and all the, your other recording stuff that you need if you're streaming or trying to just record 4K content. So over here, we have the source, which is Logitech Brio. And by the way, although this is called the Logitech 4K Pro, it's actually the same thing as the Brio. That's why it says Brio right there. So yeah, so it has some of the same things like uh, field of view and zoom that you can manually adjust. However, when we go into video settings, this is where we can adjust the resolution from 4K, Full HD, 720, whatever that you want, and other aspect ratios as well. And then we have the frames per second. In 4K, it seems like this program is limited to 30 frames per second. But when you go to, say, Full HD, it will give you a whole another set of options over here that's available for you to use. And when you're recording, it also lets you choose the audio settings, which one you want to use. And then, of course, in here, there are short cuts that you can toggle from recording to stop recording and mic sound and all of that. So in this software is actually pretty cool. I chose my secondary input as my display and it's doing this thing right now. So it's useful if you want to show your face and show your screen at the same time. And there's just different shortcuts that you can do to show different things any way that you want to show it. But for recording 4K content, I do want to show what it looks like over here. So we're going to press record right now. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. Okay, so now it's recording in 4K and this is what it looks like at 24 frames per second. And this is useful for stuff like this where I want to just um, tilt my webcam down like this. If I'm doing anything that I want to show people what I'm doing on my desktop, it's very easy to demonstrate. And if I want to show something like a Rubik's Cube, how to solve it, I can just, you know, show it like this. So if you want to do any overhead stuff, it's very easy to just show people what you're doing. For example, if you're customizing a keyboard or anything like that. In the software, you can also flip it vertically so that you can actually see what you're doing properly and you're not upside down or you can flip it horizontally. So there's a lot of settings in here as well that you can use. And of course, when we put it back up to my face, I'm going to flip it vertically again so that I'm not upside down. Also in this magic wand thing over here, you can have like the Logitech watermark if you want or some text overlay like that. So guys, if you're interested in the Logitech 4K Pro webcam, I've got a link in the description for you to check out. Also, let me know in the comments section what you would use a 4K webcam for and what you think of its picture quality and all the features. And guys, if you're still watching, thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting my videos. Make sure to drop a fire emoji in the comments below to let me know that you're still here. And if you haven't already yet, remember to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye.